All right, let's try this again. I was uh, standing in an ant pile. <laughs> I started filming this, and all of a sudden I was like, "Ow, bam! Ants got me. I'm barefoot. I got my Crocs on, so the ants just kind of climbed up me and kind of bit me up there." So anyway, uh, with the shooting in uh, the, the shooting in the church right now, uh, I think it was Charlton, North Carolina. I don't know. I'm not sure the location. But um, where all those people were killed by the, the crazy guy with the gun. Yeah, he was a white guy. Yeah, he killed black people. He was a crazy guy. And he killed people and used a gun to do evil. If he didn't have a gun, he would use a knife or a car or whatever. Yeah, but Rick, if he used a knife, people wouldn't die. Look, I'm going to give you cop's perspective of gun control. Because cops don't support, most cops don't support gun control. The politicians, the guys who are making rank wanting to be chief someday, they're going to go with the flow and go with the politicians and whatever the, the mayor or the city council, whoever they work for, whoever their boss is, that's why you always, when you see endorsements from cops on gun control, you'll notice it's not cops. It's the chief of police association. They're all chiefs. They're all political. Uh, it's the, the administration or the chief's this, or, you know, it's some something other paranoid now for ants. It's something other than the street cops. Because street cops know, if you get politics out of it, good guys with guns is a good thing. Okay, Evil people will always be there. They're always going to do their evil. If they don't have a gun, they'll find another way. Whether it's a bomb, whether it's fertilizer, whether it's a car, whether it's a Mack truck, whether it's a knife to cut somebody's head off. People are going to find a way to do their evil. Disarming good people so they can't defend themselves is never the answer. I don't, you know, uh, one of my commanders sent me some video of some Australian comic who's making fun of of the U.S. and Americans because we like to hang on to our guns. And I mean, it was just typical liberal dribble. You know, if you didn't have a gun, you wouldn't shoot people. Everything would be great. And then he starts talking about, you know, in Australia. Drugs are great, and I do a lot of drugs, and you know, but then there's always somebody who's gonna mess it up when some woman takes too much and stabs her kid. So he can make a joke about someone stabbing a kid with a knife and doing drugs, but he's gonna come to America and start cracking on Americans because we want our guns. And he's like, Well, my First Amendment right says I can I can disagree with your Second Amendment right. Well, let me tell you something, people. When the first when the Second Amendment goes, when we lose our guns. The first is not far behind. I mean, we're already losing the first. More and more each day, government is finding ways to, to stop people from speaking the truth. Stop them from coming against things. Stop them from uh, saying rumors or terrorist threats or things that might incite people. Or, you know, it, it started with, oh, well, you can't yell fire in a burning uh, theater because you cause panic. So free speech was impeded right there. And then from there, it's grown. You can't talk, you know, Obama just signed some law, you can't talk about the president when he's there. You can't say negative things about him when he's around. And I'm like, it's just a stepping stone, people, and it's, I don't get how people don't understand how, how intrusive government grows when they're not stopped. Government is good when it's controlled and when it's small. Every government that gets big turns into bad because it, the people become an entity. They become a source of income. They become a source of complaints. They become this peripheral kind of pain in the ass that interferes with us, perfect, big, good, good government, doing what we need to do that we know is right. It gives people power to make decisions over you. So, man, my foot's really itching. I should have put something on those ant bites. So, gun control, most cops don't like gun control. They think it's stupid because it only takes it away from good guys. Um, and, and again, right now, gun control is really big and they're talking about it, but and most people, if you're watching my gun channel, you're probably not some dumb, mush brain liberal that can think, and it's just common sense, that there's plenty of places. You know, Obama made some statement that we're the only country that uh, has mass shootings. Well, that's so false. I mean, Norway has the strictest gun control laws in the world, and a guy went to an island and shot up, I don't know how many kids, and killed them. Because evil will find a way. And when you take away the ability of good people to defend themselves, it's bad. And it's really bad. I mean, if you look at gun control, <laughs> if 
if you want to get in a black and white thing, like everybody seems to be want to be in this world right now, if you want to get in a black and white, the last place the government wants guns is in inner cities where it's predominantly black. And the highest shootings and killings and murder rate is in inner cities where it's black, where the government has the strictest and hardest gun control. I, I mean, I, Mexico guns are illegal, and the cartel is the only one that has guns, so the cops are corrupt, the government doesn't want to mess with the cartel, so what, what the people have done is they've given up their guns, their ability to defend themselves, so now they're at the whim and they're under the control of anybody with a gun, whether it's the cartel or the crooked cops. And that's what happens when government is the only one with guns. And I guess I never really understood. I mean, I grew up in Texas where guns were in a house. It's a part of life. We grew up with it. I mean, that when we were kids, there was always guns in houses. But we knew better. You know, we get our butt whipped. Now, you know, it'd be like if I was only going to get a timeout, then maybe I'd play with a gun and go shoot somebody. But back then, you didn't do it because the consequence was you get your ass beat. <laughs> so you knew you don't mess with a gun. But, you know, with all the liberal and we got to talk and we got to be tolerant and we got to be accepting and we can't have rules and standards and, and we can't have somebody fail in school and we can't play dodgeball because it's too aggressive and somebody might get hurt so we have to protect them and we have flashing lights on buses and you got to stop on a school bus and now kids don't even have to look when they cross the street because it's the law that everybody's got to stop until some dummy mows by it and kills a bunch of kids and you know what? It'll be like, that guy, that guy has a car. It's car's fault. Nobody wants to blame other mass. They don't want to blame bombs. They don't want to blame, you know, cars. They don't want to blame knives. They don't want to blame bricks in these inner cities for, for causing the riots. It's the bricks' fault. If they didn't have bricks to throw through these windows and loot, they wouldn't loot. So we need to get rid of bricks. I mean, that's the real problem in America right now is we have too many bricks. And that's why there's rioting and looting. I mean, the, the nonsense of it is just crazy. But I just want to touch a little bit. Texas just passed open carry. And they didn't pass it like I would have passed it. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a constitutional guy. The Second Amendment should be everybody's permit. It says you're allowed to have a gun. No other uh, amendment or freedom is impeded upon like the Second Amendment. So, But all the amendments are getting impeded on now. The, the, the right to search and seizure, the right to be secure in your home, the right to own property. All those are being impeded inch by inch through property taxes, permits, fines, you can't own or do anything on your own property anymore. It used to be your property was your property. You did what you want with it. Now the government has their fingers in. You can't save your rainwater. You can't do your. You can't dig a well. You can't have your own well. In California, they're trying to put people out in a farm would have a well, just like I have. I have a well out here where I get my water. I'm not on any city water. There's no plumbing around here. So I'm, I've got my own well out here. California found a way to get money. So they went out and they wanted to put taps on there, so they were going to collect money because you were taking their government, their water, from their land. And that's what government does. They just find ways to take, no different than the kings and kings, queens of past that had their subjects, and they taxed the crap out of people, and they took from everybody, and when you died, they took all your stuff. And if any of you all know about, you know, Tesla, a great, brilliant guy, when he died, if you look at his history, if you search Tesla and find out, he was a brilliant guy. He had all these great things. He knew more about lightning than anybody. I mean, Einstein even called the guy brilliant and the smartest man around. I, this guy was great, but kind of history forgot him. But if you read history, when he died, the government went in his apartment where he died and stole. He had, I don't know, hundreds of patents. I don't know. He had a whole bunch of patents on a lot of things. The government went in and seized all his documents under the ruse of national security. Because he was doing tests with lightning and ray guns, and they say he's the responsible on how we got rays and all. So Tesla was a great guy, but the government seized all his crap when he died. Nobody, know, no, nobody wants to remember that. Nobody wants to understand how intrusive government can be. Government is only good when it's controlled and kept to a minimum, and you know the, there's very small things. That's how the framers put it. So back to the Second Amendment, Texas passed open carry, but they didn't pass it as a constitutional open carry. To me, open carry is, you know what, if you live in this state and you want to carry a gun, you carry a gun. It's up to the government to prove that you shouldn't or you, or there's a reason you shouldn't have it or you shouldn't carry it. Well, they flip-flop, damn liberals in Austin around here in Texas, damn states going liberal, just like California used to be Republican, now it's going liberal. And I'm not a fan of Republicans, I think they're all crooked. But at least Republicans believe in limited government and freedoms. So you can either take the fast train 
to tyranny or you can take the slow bus. Republicans is a slow bus, Democrats is a fast train. So I, I'm, I'm for the lesser of two evils. But I'm not some protector thinking Republicans are all great, so don't, don't, don't put me in that bucket because I think they're all crooks. But they passed and they folded here in Texas, so now you can open carry, but you've got to have a permit. So if you have a permit to carry concealed, then you can open carry. So come January 1st, people are going to be walking around with guns. And people are going to be panicking and scared. No, oh, this guy's got a gun. And, oh, guns scare me, and I don't like seeing it. I don't want my kid to see it. And they don't do any of that with cops because the government wouldn't put up with it. You know, if you try to tell the police department, look, we're scared of guns, and we don't want to see your guns. You need to cover up your guns. The police department go, you kiss our ass. We ain't covering up our guns. It's an officer safety issue. I don't want things over my gun. I'm going to have to respond. If my gun fears you, then don't look. That's what the government will tell you. But if you do it to a citizen now, oh, I'm scared of a gun because a citizen has it. Now the government, because that's their back doorway in to get rid of guns, they're going to support that. Understand the people's fear. We should be tolerant of their fear. We should require people to cover their guns so it doesn't scare people. So we don't scare poor little kids because they see a gun. Uh, you know, if I carry a gun as a, as a citizen, it scares a kid. But if a cop carries a gun, it doesn't scare him. Well... You know what, if he had any sense, it'd probably scare him more if a cop had it versus a citizen. But that's another topic. So, here's the other thing that Texas did on the backdoor deal on this gun carry. Is they made it instead of, you know what, if a cop sees you, it used to be the, the, a couple of Supreme Courts have ruled that it's unconstitutional for a cop, just because you're carrying a gun in the open, because it's legal for you to carry it. They cannot stop you just because you have a gun. And if you go to all these open carry pages and open videos, open carry videos, guys are walking around with long guns and cops come up. Uh, uh, you know, what are you doing? What are your plans? Uh, show me your hands. Uh, let me take your gun. Do you, you know, let me run you. Let me do all this. So people have challenged that, and the, and this, the federal courts have come back and said, hey, you've got to have some other independent probable cause to contact this person just because they're carrying a gun in the open. If they're authorized to do it, you can't contact them. Well... Texas weasel Republicans folded to the crazy mush brain liberal Democrats. And so now in Texas, it's an exemption to carry your gun. And that's where people are missing this. Open carry is passed, but it's an exemption to you're not allowed to have an open pistol. So the law still stands. You're not allowed to have an open carry pistol in Texas. So what the legislature did, they go, but we're going to exempt people who have a concealed permit and we're going to allow them to open carry. But cops can, if you open carry because it's against the law, cops do not need any other reason to contact you. If you have a gun out, cops can contact you and say, do you have a permit? And I'm like, you can't, people drive and they're required to have a license. And you can't just arbitrarily stop people in the car and go, hey, I just want to make sure you got a license because you're driving. But Texas, damn going liberal passed it to where now cops can come up to you because you have a gun for no other reason and go, do you have a license for that gun? And I mean, so a lot of people are cheering, oh, we got open carry. They're so happy. And I'm like, you big bunch of sheep. They threw you a bone. You already, people already had the permission to carry a gun with a permit. You get your license, you get your permit, you get to carry a gun concealed, but you couldn't carry it open. So all they did is throw a little bone to, to pacify the, the big, the big, because a lot of states are going with open carry now. Because there's a lot of stats out there that people with guns get robbed less, get assaulted less, <laughs> get killed less. Nobody wants to tell you those stats. They just want to go, oh, some guy with a gun did a crime. Well, you know what? People with guns <laughs> don't get robbed. Crooks don't rob people when they see guns or they know they have guns. They rob people when they know they don't have guns. Which is why all shootings, just like this shooting in the church, happens in gun-free zones where there's no guns. So gun-free zones, no guns, are just telling crooks, hey, I'm a coward anyway because I steal, you know, if I'm a crook, I steal and I hurt innocent people. I take advantage of the weak. I take from others because I can and because they won't fight back or they're weak or they're an easy target. They're predators. So where do predators go? You don't see a coyote out here attacking one of my horses because they know they'll get their full head kicked in because my horse is strong. Now you let my horse go out here with a broken leg and a coyote see him limping on three legs and see him laying down for a long period of time and they will move in, they will circle, they will evaluate him, see if he's able to defend himself, and then they will attack him when he's on the ground. Because they see it's an easy target. Predators and cowards are kind of the same, and they go after people who can't defend themselves. 
So making guns illegal, you just create a greater resource for crooks and criminals. So I don't get gun control. Uh, I know people aren't going to, you know, most people who probably watch this who come to my gun channel are going to agree with it. I'm going to get some liberal doing a flyby. Uh, you're a gun crazy, right wing conspiracy, government, fear monk, whatever, dude. Look, keep your damn guns. If you don't have a gun, even if you don't want a gun, go buy a gun while you can. Uh, Alright, we'll end it there.